hello friends hope you, do, you are doing well uh, this is the next video in this high yield traction theory series and in this video i will discuss uh, forces coming on the wheel okay so this is a uh, traction theory series dts 1.9 if you have not watched previous videos please uh, don't jump over here please go back and watch previous videos and then come here okay so moving ahead uh, this is me uh, utpal misra uh, so you know already so next i will start discussing uh, what are the forces which will come on the wheel so on the basis of forces coming on the wheel and uh, torque coming on the wheel we can categorize into two types one is your a uh, towed wheel and other one is your powered wheel okay so a towed wheel will be a wheel which is non powered it means there are no uh, torque coming on this wheel whatsoever okay so if there is no torque then it means there is no traction okay without torque there is no traction uh, so it is only pulling is happening over here so uh, the examples are block cart you might have seen block cart and at the same time tractor front tire so these are the examples so here you can see uh, in case of a block cart you are just pulling these two wheels in front okay so there is no torque coming just pulling action is happening over here similarly in case of a tractor front wheel you are just pushing it from behind no torque is coming on this no differential is there if torque is coming then differential should be there which will help in turning otherwise uh, that uh, powered wheel will not be turned okay so only pulling and pushing action is happening here no torque so there is no traction so tractor front wheel is not producing any traction whereas in case of powered wheel there will be torque applied on the tire okay so if torque will apply then it will produce traction and uh, the example will be tractor rear tire so you can you know that uh, if you are applying engine torque coming from the engine side then it will there will be differential here over here and then differential will divide the torque into these two tires equally always equally so uh, that torque will come on this and this so this is a powered wheel okay so the basic principle of differential is that torque will always be same on both the tire no matter what okay so i will not explain the uh, differential principle over here that will be uh, the content of some other video okay so first first is the force is on towed wheel so uh, this is the towed wheel so there is no torque this is a rolling radius of tire only pulling force is coming which is called towed force tf now as I, i have told you in my previous video is that reaction force will not act at the center rather it will act at some offset which is called e eccentricity okay so if you will uh, balance uh, this moment about a so all the terms are written over here tf is the force r is the radius r is the not reaction force e is the eccentricity okay so if you balance the moment about point a the equation will come something like this this is you don't need to remember this equation but just uh, just uh, visualize this figure in your just imprint this figure in your mind okay forever if this so this photograph if you know the concept if the towed wheel into the tf is acting here uh, r is acting somewhere here then uh, this if this figure is imprinted on your mind in your subconscious mind then you don't need to remember you don't need to know this equation you can uh, you, you know what is the concept of moment so you can derive it in your examination easily so basically this e will be from from this equation e will be tf by r into a small r okay and then this tf by r is what basically this is your rolling resistance ratio or motion resistance ratio so basically as i have told you earlier this that this eccentricity will be a multiplication of rolling radius and motion resistance ratio remember my motion resistance ratio video if you don't remember then go back and watch that video again so e will be rho into r so this is how it is being derived e equals to rho into r i have promised you that i will explain it to you in next video so here i am explaining it how is this eccentricity is being derived so it is basically rho into r and this is how it is coming okay so here rho is the coefficient of rolling resistance or motion resistance ratio or rolling resistance ratio and i have already told you that it will be 0.04 for concrete surface if you still don't know how it is coming 0.04 then please go go back and watch my uh, rolling resistance video for uh, clarification of this thing okay so this, this is the force coming on towed wheel so this is very simple now second is the force on 
powered wheel so this is a powered wheel it means there will be some amount of torque will be acting here and if torque is acting here then then some forces will be coming over here okay so uh, some pulling force will come over here so this is the pulling force acting in this direction so if suppose this this is your direction of motion you are moving in this direction and uh, as i already told you torque force is uh, is uh, acting on non powered wheel so if if uh, in this case torque force will act like a resistance force so torque force will act in this direction pulling force will act in this direction r is again the same then radius torque is acting on your tire in clockwise direction then your mo movement will be in this direction again this r reaction force will act like this and as i have told you this is a powered wheel torque is applicable here so if torque is applied then there will be traction in case of towed force towed a wheel there will there, there wasn't any traction but now because it is powered wheel so traction is being produced the so torque is in clockwise direction motion of direction is this so because of that your traction will help your tire to move in forward direction so this will be a, this will be the direction of your traction force okay so uh, again these are the term written over here now if you again uh, balance the horizontal forces so what are the horizontal forces one is this p pull force second is this torque force in opposite direction and third is your traction force in the same direction of pull okay so this pull will be your f minus tf so pulling force will be uh, traction force minus torque force okay if you divide all terms by w then it will it will become a ratio uh, why i am converting it into ratio because i have already told in my traction videos that uh, there are five traction parameters on the which we have to judge uh, tractive performance of the tractor and to convert this uh, this this pull force and traction force into that traction parameters i have to make it a ratio dimensionless ratio that is why i am dividing it by w once you divide it by w it will become ratio this pull by weight ratio i have already told you it is coefficient of traction this f by w ratio is gross traction mu g uh just put it g i have missed it over here and this torque force by w is your coefficient of rolling resistance so this is how it is coming cot is mu minus w so basically uh this mu is mu g okay so mu is mu g minus rho <coughs> so mu g is your gross traction coefficient or gross traction ratio mu is your coefficient of traction and rho is your coefficient of rolling resistance so if you don't know uh, this 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 how this ratio is coming then please go back and watch my previous videos so this is how the force is on powered wheel is coming so you don't need to remember these equations but you just remember this photograph you draw it on on your notebook draw it in your uh, in your copy uh, draw it uh, time uh, time and time again and again so that it will be it will be part of your subconscious mind and you will always remember this equation because they will keep asking questions from this equation and then this table will come which is of highly importance okay so all these four equations you need to remember so from this they have asked this uh, question in 2009 which is a towed pneumatic wheel width diameter ratio they are given is to be rolled on level concrete surface total wheel load you have given 2000 newton okay please pause the video then try to solve this question if you have understood uh, whatever i have taught you in this video the photographs then you will be easily able to solve this question okay and then come back and then uh, try to watch how i am i am solving this question okay so this is a useless uh, data they have given in questions they will always give you useless data so you don't need to worry about that so for first first question uh, will will be on horizontal surface so this is a towed wheel so uh, this will be a figure for towed wheel they have given a uh, load of 2000 newton okay so uh, the next step you know uh, this table you remember always this table okay so uh, i have i have already told this many this equation this for coefficient of rolling resistance rho is this one okay and now you know uh, how to calculate cn with the help of this okay but they have given this is a concrete surface so i have lot of time i have explained for concrete surface this will be 0.04 so you know now uh, rho 0.04 
now rho is what for toad force for toad wheel tf by r so from here you can calculate easily tf which will be 80 newton okay this is your answer for second part it is on a, on a slope with angle of phi so other things will be same only uh, initially the reaction will be, uh, was r here the this reaction will become r cos phi and in opposite direction the relevant component come you see r sin phi okay because this weight will have two component on the slope so now if you balance your toad force already you know it is 80 newton from your previous question now if you balance your horizontal forces this r sin theta will be equal to toad force which is 80 from here you can find your phi which is 2.29 degrees okay so this is an easy question if you know the concept of toad wheel if you don't know the concept then it becomes a very difficult question for you okay so that is why i always emphasis on, on the clarity of concept so you don't need to remember the formulas but you need to uh, you, you need to have a clear cut concept you only need to remember the formula which are given in this table okay so this is your right answer so this is a question both will have uh, same option option a will be the correct option okay guys so uh, basically uh, i have uh, explained uh, in my all these uh, nine videos initially i have explained about uh, tires then uh, basic traction then i have explained all five dimensionless traction ratios in extreme details okay and then in this video i have explained forces coming on the wheel with this i am concluding this uh, traction theory okay so i have taught you each and everything each and all dimension of traction basic traction and advanced traction how to calculate traction in field as well as in lab how to uh, how to uh, compare the performance of two tractors so with this video i am concluding the traction in my next videos i will uh, i will make on weight transfer tractor dynamics and tractor cg calculations and after that i will make a uh, video on tractor stability longitudinal stability as well as lateral stability so uh, please uh, like this video and subscribe the channel to get updated on latest video upload okay and uh, please uh, comment in the comment section how you feel uh, if you feel any difficulty in understanding please let me know so that uh, i will be uh, slow and i will explain in more detail uh, to you or if you have any doubt whatsoever related to whatever till now i have taught to you uh, please uh, write it clearly in the comment section i will reply it over, over there and uh, i will be more than happy to clear all your doubts okay and again i am saying you that uh, please jump in between uh, don't jump in between uh, just watch all these video in sequence I start from uh, lecture 1.1 to lecture 1.9 then only all your concept will be cleared okay so thank you very much guys thank you for watching it